Hi, this is Gary Fong, and this is the demonstration video, the unboxing of the LightSphere Collapsible Basic Kit. The LightSphere Collapsible Basic Kit comes with all these parts here, and I'm going to just basically show you how they work, how they work together, and what they do. The most important part of this kit would be your instruction card. The very, very beginning experience, I want you to have uh, your very first shot work out great, and this gives you your beginning steps. On one side, it'll show you Put your camera on TTL mode, ISO 800 for indoors, high ceiling, pro use no dome, and put the camera on program mode. These are all just starting tips and then after that you can be creative on your own. Low ceiling, put the dome on, outdoors in open shade, amber dome, things like that. On the back is the mounting instructions and the mounting instructions are, you know, there's no language, it just basically shows you how to do it. So let me just go through the mounting real quick and I'll show you how that works and just get my camera here. So, what we want to do is we want to turn it up and sideways like that so that we can have the ability to go vertical and horizontal very quickly on say your Canon, Nikon, Pentax, or Olympus. On your Sony, your Sony already has on the FL flashes, it already has the head so that it'll go vertical and horizontal so you don't need to actually couldn't do the perpendicular turn. Now to mount, basically put it on 45 degree angle like this and put it on and then just pull straight up like that and you've got yourself the light sphere collapsible mounted. Now I've also designed it so that when you collapse it you always do it face down like that. I don't didn't want you to be able to collapse it like this because if you bumped into something it would collapse unintentionally so that's why you always put it face down when you're collapsing and then when you put it on like that it's a very strong hold as you can see, it won't come off, but in order to pull it off, just squeeze it right here, and it'll come right off. Now, the other part is the chrome dome. The chrome dome is the companion to this white ring. This white ring is not used for anything else except the chrome dome. And so to put the chrome dome on, you just basically snap the white ring like that, and then you're going to mount it with this shield in the back like that. So the chrome dome mounts like that, and once it's on, you'll see what happens here. There is the movement of the light source all the way up here to the, the reflective ring on the bottom. And then it's also open on the top so that we can light up the ceiling as a light source to fill in for the hair, sh uh, shoulders, and things like that on black tuxedos or whatever. So that's the chrome dome. This is used for group photographs as explained here on the card use it for large group photographs like say when you're shooting weddings or whatever. These are the color accessory tabs for the light sphere collapsible and the way that they mount is just basically take your collapsible and go like that and that's also another design feature is if you don't want to shoot with a diffuser on if you want to just go with a uh, direct flash just put it face down and collapse it like that. In order to put the mounting tabs on, the color tabs, just You'll notice that the, this is the pull tab. This goes on the outside, and these things go into the little holes right there. And now you've got yourself something that will hold these colored gels. And you can have a colored gel inside and pull it up like that. The other domes here, this is the amber dome, so I'll just show you how that works. And the amber dome, as you can see on the card, is used for many things. It's used to reduce the difference in color temperature between a very warm incandescent lit room or it can be used as a sunset outdoors point it straight at your subject and you get an incredibly warm light or have it uh, straight up like this and when you're shooting an open shade it gives you a very very nice soft fill light which warms up the flesh tones and lastly if you're shooting on say for example a cloudy day simply put your camera on tungsten white balance and then put this on and what will happen is the ambient light will become very very cool like a blue sky and the light that goes on your subject becomes uh, color corrected. This is the regular dome and the dome is used for a lot of things. Mostly it's used for cutting the ratio as can be explained on the card between a low ceiling when you have a low, low bright ceiling, there will be too much light going to the ceiling and you'll actually get a shadow light coming down on your subject in deep eyes or with a hat. So you'd want to put the dome on and reduce that. If you're outdoors and you're at quite a distance, put it on like this and aim it forward and you get yourself the biggest soft round diffuser that you can find that goes in front of your flash. 
In a situation like this, where I don't have a lens shade, I'll want to invert the dome and put it on inside out. And when it's inside out, then it'll cut the lens flare to the, cam to the, uh, to the front element. Now you'll notice also that when I go like this, hello, when I go like this, you can see the square a little bit better, and that means that this is not as soft or diffuse of a light as it is when you go like this. Because when I go with the dome outwards, the dome itself is further away from the flash unit than it was when it was in the other position. So that's what that's used for. It's also used as a really great color white balancing tool. I explain this quite a bit in other YouTube videos. You can use this as a, as a tester. Okay, so that's pretty much the LightSphere Collapsible Basic Kit. Now the Pro Kit is, in addition to all of that here, you have the Power Snoot. The Power Snoot is a, if you think of this as a very, very soft uh, light for shooting almost like an available light looking photograph, this is exactly the opposite. This is extremely harsh. This is a very, very angled specular light that comes out in a straight beam like that. It's used for shooting outdoors when you want to get a really, really dramatic look on your subject. It's used indoors to cut out all of the light that's in the ambient light to make it look like you're in a black background uh, when your room has quite a bit of lighting. So to mount that, this uh, strap here is not for use around your wrist and it's not for throwing away. We actually need this to be on the barrel itself. The reason why is because this is hard plastic, that's hard plastic, and plastic to plastic will fall off. So you want to put that first on here, and then we're going to put this on like that. And I'm just going to pull and cinch the belt like that. And now it's on. And this is now one heck of a really, really strong spotlight. Also, you'll notice that it's a really incredibly strong mount. It will not fall off, which is the way I design my stuff. I don't want it to fall off and use. So this is really professional uh, gear. You can use it for product photography. You can use it for really dramatic portraiture and uh, a lot of other things. You can use it on a telephoto lens. If you want to have more light hitting your subject with a long lens, then you can use this for flash fill outdoors. Okay, so that is the collapsible kit and uh, the Pro Kit and the Basic Kit. This is the only difference is the Power Snoot. Okay, so let's get you to, to show you how to shoot your very first before and after image. Okay, so let's go to the next video.